dramatic video of a car flying through the air and hitting a store. We're getting new information about the woman behind the wheel. Parents and students taking action because of a tuberculosis scare at a Queens High School. Also, coyote concerns for one neighborhood after a woman was attacked. Good evening. I'm Shade Better and Wong. And I'm Dada Williams. And we begin with this warning for people to be on the lookout for a coyote in Rockland County. A woman was bitten while she walked her dog in Orangeburg. Tonight, she's talking to us about the frightening encounter. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Johnson joins us live with more. Anthony? Yeah, let us show you where the attack took place this morning, right over here in this driveway by a set of bushes. Now, the person who was attacked, the victim, actually very, very brave in this account. She fought off the coyote to protect her little dog. Mary Lou Gardner is a woman who shows no lasting signs of fear, but she does have multiple bite marks in her arm and the back of her left leg where she was attacked by a coyote. It was, it was, I can't, you know, scary. You know, you have your adrenaline pumping. Mary Lou was taking her morning walk with her dog, Jasmine, when the 40 to 50 pound coyote lunged at her. I know it bit me twice on my leg, but again, I was concerned about Jasmine, and she went after Jasmine, and at that point I was just kicking her off to get off the dog. Mary Lou's calls for help brought out neighbors who made noise to scare away the coyote. And I came out, and the coyote was actually on her back, up on its legs. And uh, uh, so I just came running out in my pajamas and tried to distract the coyote, which apparently it did. The attack was surprising, but the coyote was not. The animal had been seen yesterday, and those on the scene figured it was harmless until this morning. I had a long black coat on, and I like I threw it like over the coyote, and, and I could see it resting around, so it kind of bought me some time. The animal involved in the attack was eventually shot down by cops responding to the scene, now they're trying to determine if the coyote had rabies. First of all, we don't know if it's a rabbit animal. Yes, yes. And if there is, then of course there should be caution. But the coyotes in Rockland County. Now if they do find out that the coyote did have rabies, Mary Lou will have to get her treatments tomorrow. This is the house where the coyote had been behind yesterday. You can see the woods behind it, so they're telling people that live in this area to watch out for those wild animals. That's the latest live from New York. Anthony Johnson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Anthony. We continue.